The year 2020 commemorates the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote across the United States. The Frick is celebrating with a series of videos honoring the stories of women at the museum who made, appeared in, collected, and took care of art in this collection. Let's start with the story of the woman behind me. Ang's portrait of the Comtesse d'Ossonville is one of the most famous paintings of the Frick and once graced the cover of Life magazine. But what's her story? The Comtesse, Louise de Broly, was a wealthy woman, of course, who loved the theater and opera. And here she's shown having just returned from a night at the opera with her opera glasses just behind her on the mantel and her shawl tossed on the chair below. But she was not always just a lady of leisure. She was a published author, even if her husband wouldn't let her put her name on all of her writing, as he was afraid of public scrutiny. Louise loved this portrait of herself and left instructions for it to stay in her chateau in Switzerland after her death. But I don't think she'd mind that it's here at the Frick. After all, she wrote about herself, I was destined to beguile, to attract, to seduce. And she does so every day in our galleries. Her portrait entered the Frick collection through the founder, Henry Clay Frick's daughter, Helen. And you'll hear more about her in another video.